Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Like Beams Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you a multi-episode simply because my content is so short today. I figured I will combine some of my episodes into one mishmash of episodes and get to see all the different aspects that I do in my video journal. So today happens to be hump day. It is Wednesday. You know, something I am feeling. My back started hurting yesterday and it's really hurting now. So I am working a little bit in slow-mo, but let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to discuss is what's sold. Uh, believe it or not, only two items sold yesterday. What happened? I mean, I should be grateful. A lot of people have been saying how their eBay stores have tanked, and I've been like, oh, my eBay store is doing great. Well, yesterday, only two items sold. It's still a sale. I'm still very happy. So the first one, I mean, this needs no introduction. The fact that I sell these all the time. Machete Maidens Unleashed. This is a documentary about the B-film bombshells from like the 70s, the 60s and 70s. The really campy type bimbo movies. This one I sold for $8. Then we go to Puppet Master... 10 Axis Rising. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually Puppet Master 10, or this could simply be Puppet Master X, but I remember watching Puppet Master when I was a kid, and it's like creepy dolls, little puppets that come to life and kill you. Each one had their own personality, and you end up rooting for the dolls as opposed to, um, I'll be honest, I've never seen this one. So I have a couple of copies of this. I'm probably going to watch this. I also remember that when Puppet Master used to be owned by Full Moon Productions, and Full Moon Productions always used to have a like a video documentary on how they did the films. Absolutely love those. But this is not a Full Moon production. Doesn't have the... Um... Oh, actually, it is a Full Moon production. But I don't believe it has that extra um, video attached to it. But those were the two movies I sold. One for ten, one for eight. Made eighteen dollars on eBay. That was it. My saving grace, however, was a pop up auction. So we actually did do the pop up auction. It was on NASCAR Man's uh, channel, and not it was a slow sale, but at least I was able to get out there, show some interesting things. Made one hundred and thirty five dollars. Can't complain. Made some really nice sales. I would love to get to the point. And that's, I guess, my dream of this channel. It may happen, it may not. But I would love to get to the point that if I host a pop-up auction, there'll be lots of people and I can have guests and this and that or something along those lines. I mean, I can't complain. I am going to be on um, the two lovely ladies on Tuesday and they're building up their channel. I can't wait to see what happens. But I'm their special guest uh, auction. So I'm going to bring some lots of good stuff. So that's what happened yesterday. The 135 in um, auction sales, $18 in eBay sales. But I also got a chance to list a couple of things. Now, obviously, I didn't list a lot simply because my focus was getting all the auction stuff together, um, which I did pretty good. It set me up that some of that auction stuff is actually ready to go on either next week's auction or ready to get... Um, uh, get the pictures taken and put up on eBay. <laughs> well, let's talk because my list on eBay, and this was my new category that I'm doing is, oh, what did I list on eBay? Now, when I do my what I list, this is the stuff that I just put up on eBay that day, which would have been yesterday. And it looks into the different types of variety of what stuff I'm selling, what I'm selling it for, how I'm selling it. And it gives you an idea of, um, how my store runs. A eh, little bit more of me, but also it gives me an idea of what I'm selling. <laughs> so the first thing I put up, I put up these collection of four to the max racing champion cars. So they are NASCAR cars. They all come with their cute little car. It also comes with the card. They're in very good condition. I looked at the comps for these. Eh, I was a little disappointed. But I'm putting up all four of them. I'm going to test it out, run a little high. I'm going to start the bid. It's not an auction, but I'm going to say $40. Might be a little high, might be a little low, but I think $40 is a fair thing. 
So that is the first thing that I put up. Then I put up, this is a rarity. Now the car itself is not a rarity, but this particular pack is. And I just want to show you. It is a Hot Wheels Street Wiener. This is from the 2017 collection. It's number 112 out of 250. What makes this special is take a look at that. Factory mistake. The car is in backwards. Now, there is no way, the way the package is designed, that the car ends up flipping over in package. It is stuck in there. So what ended up happening was when they sealed this package, they sealed it with the car backwards and upside down. That is what happened. That poor car. It missed the quality control when it was going through. So I'm saying that this is super rare because it's not common that cars go in backwards. They're always nice on display so you can see it uh, like that. But this car is backwards and upside down. So I'm putting this one up for $20. I want to see what happens. Um, taking a chance. I paid minimal for it, so we'll see. Then I put up a very interesting nostalgic book. It's called The Television Years. Now, it's not necessarily in the best of condition, but what it is is it's set up in the TV Guide style on newspaper print. It's all pictures and little blurbs about, oh, there was something in there. What was in there? Oh, they're even getting a free uh, advertisement display for a blood glucose monitor. Uh, that's funny. Um, but it's all little stories about the pictures. This one I'm putting up for $12. So I'm taking a bet. Condition-wise, it's not perfect and pristine. However, it is good enough to read. And considering this is from, oh, I should have mentioned, this is from 1974. So being that it's from 1974, I think that's in pretty good condition. And then I put up Green Hornet. I actually had this at the auction. Um, it didn't sell. I'm like, that's okay, because when it comes to the comics, I have a lot of comic books that are in complete runs. In <laughs> complete runs. This one happens to be uh, issue 2 through 14. The only one that's missing is issue number 9. So I know people love when comic books are in sequence as opposed to random ones here and there. I try to sell mine in lots like this. So this one I put up for $20. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This one I put up for $25. Then we get to movies. Okay. I put up a couple of movies. I didn't put a lot up because, like I said, I really I wasn't feeling good yesterday. I ran out of time. But my goal is as long as I get a decent amount, it's worth it. So the first one happens to be, well, you really can't see. Well, yeah. It's called Grace. Grace is about, uh, oh, this is actually a creepy one. A couple's dream turns into their worst nightmare when their unborn child is declared dead. The mother insists on carrying the stillborn child to term. Oh, this is creepy. She's determined to have a healthy child, and she's adapted a pure body lifestyle and decided to have a child's birth. Okay, this is going to be one of those creepy, um, it's, it is considered a horror. So I'm wondering if her dead child comes to life or something weird like that. Then we have, um, it's called Smith's Inside Smith's. So I'm assuming Smith's is a, um, a punk rock band. This is a documentary of the Smith's. So I have, I'm sorry, I have Grace in for $7. Smith's Inside Smith I have up for $7. This one is a trilogy, but I only have one disc. It's the Nova Death Star. I have a feeling this will go. Um, Nova sells really well. It's strange, but they're good documentaries. These are the PBS ones, but this is only disc one. They have um, Supernova's Big Bang Death Star. This one I'm selling at a fraction of the cost. It's going for $7. Um, the complete set is in the $50 range. So I'm pretty sure somebody's going to just scoop up the one disc. Then, I thought this was funny. It's called Lone Wolf and Cub, Baby in Peril. It's some sort of Japanese martial arts movie, but he carries a demon baby with him. And it's a whole series. Like, there's all um, uh, different episodes with the baby. 
So I probably should watch this just for the fun of it. Put this up for $8.99. And then this one is Serrano de Bergerac. I could be pronouncing it, but it, it's with Gerard de Bergerac. And anybody who knows Gerard de Bergerac, just take a look at that nose. Oh my God. He's one of those actors that his nose is so prominent. But, and, and also his name. Everybody, I guess women find his name sexy. Gerard de Bergerac. So, I keep saying so. I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> That's what I put up. These are all items are all up for sale right now in my store. It could be in any one of the platforms. It could be eBay, Macari, um, Facebook, any platform I choose. Sometimes I do cross post on multiple platforms, but um, I think I have a nice little mixture going on for yesterday. If anybody's interested, I am going to be putting a lot of stuff up. I mean, that's going to be like the rest of my time is just keep listing, listing, listing. Because today is a good day, um, I only have two packages to wrap up to go out. It is Paul's auction, which only is one hour block of time. I probably could get a lot accomplished as long as I stay focused and as long as my back doesn't act up. So today is going to be list, 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 sort, sort day. Happy about that. Until next time, everyone, this is Melanie with Light Beam Treasures and Curiosities. Take care.